What up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Jensine here and in today's video we are going to review the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer in the shade 119. So if you guys have seen one of my most recent videos, I did a PR unboxing from BH Cosmetics which was really fun and one of the products that they sent me was this concealer. Um, and I really, really wanted to try it because I've heard some interesting things about it and I was like okay well I gotta share this with you guys share my experience and see if this is really worth it is this worth your coins because it's really affordable but also we got to make sure that it performs and does what it's supposed to do so with that being said if you're excited to watch this review and see how this product performs give this a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe if you love beauty videos okay so let me bring you guys just a little bit closer and then we can go ahead and get started now First off, I'm gonna start by using my Maybelline Fit Me foundation, and I really wanted to go ahead and use a popular foundation that I know a lot of you guys use. That way you'll know like, okay, this plays nicely with a product that I know really well. You know what I mean? Okay, so now it's time to apply this little guy here, and it's got this nice little applicator here, which is nice, so you could technically go ahead and just squeeze it onto the face, but Honestly, I don't know how much is gonna come out and I know that this is full coverage So I want to put it on the back of my hand just because I want to be sure now I'm going to use the pointy end of my real technique sponge and go ahead and add that in Ooh, It is very full coverage You only need a little bit you guys you don't even have to go ham with it Gonna go back with a little bit just under the deepest part of my dark circles. And look at that, you guys. It actually blends out like effortlessly. So here's without it, here's with it. It looks gorgeous. Now it doesn't seem like it's too like highlighting, like crazy highlight, but this is definitely like doable for an everyday work look or school look. Let me go ahead and get the other eye as well. Dang, so first off, haven't even said it, looks really good. Before I put it on the rest of my face, I definitely need to go ahead and use my Laura Mercier powder. And I'm just going to do a light dust, you know, like nothing too intense, just set that in place. And you really, when you set this, you want to push that powder in. Wow, it just looks like super gorgeous, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and add concealer to right where my chin is and also down the center of my nose. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the rest of my face, do my contouring and highlighting and blushing and all that, and then I'll be back to talk to you guys. Um, and I definitely wanna come back at the end of the video to do an update to show you guys what the concealer looks like at the end of the day. So. You want to make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so I finished the rest of my makeup and taking a look at my under eyes, they look really nice right now. Now I'm going to let you guys know a few things that I noticed straight off the bat while I was using this concealer. First off, this does have kind of like a matte finish when it dries down, so you really, really need to work quickly. So I suggest putting it under one eye first and then working quickly with a damp beauty blender to work that out and then setting it. I think those are the steps that I'm gonna take the next time that I use this. And something that I noticed is because it does kind of set super quickly, I had a few kind of chunks of concealer right near my inner corner and by the time I realized I needed to blend that out a bit more it had already dried down so it was really hard to work with but I managed to save it because I went on and I finished the rest of my makeup spritzed fix plus all over my face and then while that was you know 
damp. I pretty much like took a bath and fix plus. <laughs> um, I went in with a beauty blender or my Real Technique sponge actually and then I smoothed it out and then I waited for it to completely dry. Now when it was completely dry I then took my Laura Mercier powder just to dab it a little bit. So if you do end up with that kind of problem that's a good way to fix it because now it looks really nice and it doesn't look um, like it did before. So I'm gonna come back at the end of the day and just kind of show you guys how this concealer wears. You know, if it's still nice and smooth, if the product moves around throughout the day. So yeah, I'll be back. All right, so here is my check-in. I've been wearing this makeup for about six hours. No touch-ups, nothing. As you can see, I'm just slightly glowy. And I really, really love this concealer. It's full coverage for those of you that don't really need really intense highlighting under your eyes, I think this is gonna be really, really good. And also, for those of you guys that have dark circles under your eyes and you want something with some more oomph to it, I think this definitely packs a punch. Now, you know, for what I have right now, I didn't even use a lot on my face, honestly. And the only thing, as I said previously, is that you work on it one side at a time. That way you can ensure effortless blending but this really gets like two thumbs up for me. I'm so excited about using this. This is definitely gonna be in my little makeup arsenal for long-term makeup wear when I want an effortless look and I want it to last all day. And for that price, honey, you just like, you can't beat it. So let me know if you guys have used this concealer. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Is it something that you use on a regular basis? Let me know. Uh, I know that I'll definitely be using this a lot. Make sure you check out my beauty products reviews playlist. I've got a lot of really cool videos and stuff that'll help you guys decide between different products, product comparisons, and also it just kind of helps you save some coins, which everybody loves, right? <laughs> All right, well, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.